So I am starting off my morning with some hot tea. I've had a sore throat for the last couple of days and I am slowly feeling better as the days go by, but it's still, it's still, my throat is still pretty scratchy. I thought that it would be a really good idea to have you come along with me and just spend a slow living Saturday. I wanted to talk to you a little bit what I've been up to. So this week I've been feeling a little sick. I am drinking some hot tea. I'm feeling better now, but I've been having a sore throat, a headache, and I just haven't been feeling physically well. I actually had have been socializing a lot this week i just thought to myself i'm like wow i've actually have seen five really good friends and family members to this week in one week and i feel like that's really rare that doesn't really happen so i've had a lot of exchange of energies without this whole week and i thought that today um it was just a perfect day to just spend with myself and be by myself and just go inwards um today we do have a full moon in sagittarius which is my rising sign and so i thought it was just a perfect time to just sit with myself today to be by myself to go inwards um sagittarius is ruled by jupiter and jupiter is a sign of expansion it's a sign of optimism like this full moon in Sagittarius is definitely the time to really let go of like old beliefs that just no longer serve you anymore so if I get any calls today from friends or family to socialize or to hang out I will respectfully decline because um yeah like I said I just felt that today was a perfect day to just go inwards spend some time with myself and really sit down with some self-reflective questions that I will share with you at the end. journal prompts that I am following are from Lior Alexandra and I absolutely love her content as I've mentioned in the past I am using astrology as a guide from the universe to help me just set my intentions to let go of things that no longer serve me these old belief systems of my voice my thoughts I've really been enjoying doing Camila's hair these last couple of days. It's just, I feel like it's just like a really intimate moment that we get to share. Um, the last time I remember just making little ponytails or something like this, really, it's it's from doing my own hair, doing my sister's hair when we were really little. So it just really, like really brings back memories. And the only way that I can get her to stay still is that she has to have some snacks and some cartoons. So, let's do her hair. Okay, this is what I came up with for her hair today. Uh, <laughs> I mean, mommy, I don't know that I like it. I think I like it, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. Oh. I'm sick. 
with you everything. Yeah, but I don't touch it. Okay, I didn't like the first two, so <laughs> I redid her hair. We just have four little chongos on the front. And then we just left her hair down in the back. But I think it looks cute. Hola, guapa. <laughs> Hola, guapa. <laughs> but it's basically just made out of trees and wood benches it's really really cute i love it so i had to stop us oh i think she's getting a little tired so we might start heading back <laughs> we've had a really nice walk you guys um i think we're going on like about 40 minutes of a walk <gasps> But it's time to head back. I kind of feel some raindrops coming down on me. And I'm not too close to home. So I hope that <laughs> um, we make it safely and dry. If not, I'll just definitely call Marco to come pick us up and save us wherever we are. I really think that there's something about this spring that just feels so different from other springs. But... I just feel that everything is so much more greener, so much more vibrant. It's just really pretty out here right now. And I'm really enjoying it. Okay, the sun finally came out and we are back from our walk. We took a really long walk. It was so nice. I think Ami is so happy. And it was just so nice just to listen to music. She, she does really good on walks, so it was really relaxing for me. And now we are heading back home and we'll see what our next thing is. So I'm gonna make some matcha right now. I told Marco that I was doing, that I'm doing a full moon ritual today so I told him if you are out of the house I'm not gonna be mad <laughs> hey que guapo chicks no chicks I'm a married man así vas a salir sin tu esposa mm -hmm. yeah that looks nice baby it's really nice mm -hmm. I'm gonna drink my matcha on the porch That's my Mexican man in his boots. So you suckers? I was a fish before. Now it's a boot. <laughs> a fish. See this guy? Yeah. He used to be an animal as well. <laughs> um, aren't, didn't that used to be a crocodile? 
Not a fish. No. Yeah. You look nice, baby. journal prompts from the video that I was referring to earlier today is uh, reflect on the belief systems habits that no longer serve you why have you held on to them how have they limited your growth write a goodbye letter to these things acknowledging their presence in your life and express and expressing your readiness to let them go this is my goodbye letter <laughs> Dear old belief system that my voice doesn't matter. For the longest time, I've known and have felt in the center of my core that I am truly fascinated by in-depth conversations with myself, with others. And I've always felt that I have so much to share with the world. I truly believe that by sharing my voice, my thoughts, showing my vulnerability, that I can connect with others to help each other grow. However, a lot of times I have stopped myself from really reaching my highest potential because of these old belief systems of thinking that I'm not important enough or thinking that there's no more room for my voice in this world. These old belief systems have instilled fear in me. They have helped me back from um really just not being completely myself as i feel more confident and empowered each day to truly let go and embrace this positive understanding compassionate optimistic person and happy being that i am i'm ready to be that confident me i'm ready to step into and just really live in this confident person who trusts herself who understands that her voice matters a lot, more than I actually think. And that through empowering myself, like I can truly empower those around me, um, just those who I have a conversations with, those who I carry a relationship. And not, e not even that, like I, I'm ready for that to radiate on the outside. I'm ready, I'm ready for this expansion. I'm ready to really receive er everything that this full moon and Sagittarius has to offer. I'm completely letting go of these old belief systems of mine and I am just gonna do it here with you guys. Wait, I'm like low-key scared. Like this is not, I'm not doing something like, has, this is not like hazardous, is it? Like, should I be doing this outside? Yeah, how about I do this outside? Okay. Okay, it seems so much more safer to do this outside than in my living room. Wow, look at those old beliefs, old habits, old thoughts that no longer serve me. Look at how fast it's burning away on its own oh my god i think i'm just more than ready to let these things go i feel like this is what this is what this is telling me like look how fast another journal prompt that i would like to share with you guys is um basically it's like write out a it's writing out a script of what your life looks like a year from now and just answering those questions and what ways have you grown and expanded? Uh, what new experiences have you embraced? What kind of person have you become? In a year from now, I have grown in so many ways, it's unexplainable. Today
day I can walk into a room and radiate a smile, I can truly say I am confident and happy with the person I see in the mirror. I've become the woman of my dreams. Kind, outspoken, friendly, understanding, such an in-depth conversationalist. I have truly embraced how to live with alignment and the cycles of my femininity. But I fully accept myself as I am in the in this moment. Making content and making videos is just a beautiful way for me to express myself, to create. Um, I'm excited to just keep sharing my journey as I am healing, as I'm doing inner work, as I am learning and expanding. I am full of expansion and ready, ready to receive. You saw how fast that paper burned out there it like basically burned on its own i didn't have to put any more fire on it so that tells me like wow you've been ready to let go of all these things you're super ready to step into that higher version of yourself and i'm i feel like i'm in it already i will see you guys next time bye